Welcome, Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the Gunshine State. Ha. What them boys still boating in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating, this the model of the state. Ha. A lot of fakes, but it's still real. real. All right, man, we here at the live show, pregame, screen game live show with the talented Richard Brooks, you know what I'm saying? Former Miami Northwestern, cornerback, fam, you, but also a talented artist, you know what I'm saying? Everything you see. This shirt, like, he drew the shirt, you know what I'm saying? He drew the shirt and everything you see behind us. So, man, he gonna take y'all through all his, 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 his work that he got up here for sale at the Spring Game Show, man. All right, man, we got some pieces that I've um, put together for the show. Um, y'all coming up close. We got some of the legends up here. We got Sean Taylor. We got Reggie Wayne. We got Sean. We got EJ. We got Ray. Some of the younger guys that's coming through. Um, we got Harley over to Harley Jr. We got Frank Gore. <laughs> the great Ed Reed. You know, I just let my work speak for itself. So. Perfect. Uh -huh. Number one media outlet in South Florida, Caneville. Here with Cuz, this, this, this the, the mad scientist. The, he got the, the, the pictures for sale. Y'all want to get them pictures? Holler at me. We can make that happen here. Draw whatever you need. You see, man, they look, you see what they did? They, they came show me some love tonight. <laughs> Yes, sir. Perfect. No, I ain't advertising in this. Just drink. <laughs> All right, so here we go, man. <clears throat> about to talk about everything from Bitcoin to. Hold up, man. That's the, that's the other show, ain't it? Listen, man, I, it might be a little different, man. We ain't never did the show with people in here, man. It don't be nobody there. It just be me, you, Twan, and, and Lights, though. Huh? Yeah, yeah, nervous. Let's, see it. Let's see if I can step up. Big time players make plays and. <laughs> you ready? Let's go, man. We had this thing pre pre game party. Me, X. We've been talking about this for a while. Uh, make sure y'all like, share. We got people in the house with us, man. They looking at us. Uh, started had tried this event thing last spring game. We had some people come out. <clears throat> this one did a, a lot better. And we're gonna try to get this thing moving on the road eventually. Eventually, yeah. we're gonna try to get on the road. We got Jacksonville saying they want us to come up there. Um, ATL, 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 Kings. Where else, man? Where else? Where else, where else, where else Kings at? Uh, King fans. Texas, at? Texas, Texas, California, fans, Texas. Yeah, they've been reaching out. Like, man, we watch our show all the time, and I'm like, y'all watch us. Yeah. In, in Miami. Yeah, you see, Exxon got loaded up, man. Loaded up two Hennessy bottles, man. I gotta start saying I like something, man. What can I start saying I like, bro? Huh? IOD. I <laughs> IOD. <laughs> gotta start. You think gonna give me stocks? Yeah, they 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 invest the money for me. <laughs> so mean listen, twenty percent. Listen, tomorrow the spring game, I think it's gonna be a movie. Um, but but all of this started X. It started when me, you, two little boys from Opelika. I mean, I don't know if it was first, but we was two insane ones saying that Miami was about to change, you know no, what I'm saying? We was first, we was first. You think we was first? With the firing of that Danny Mi 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 guy. <laughs> <laughs> we was first, we definitely was first. Uh, we knew that it was change gonna come. Um, uh -huh. And once the change came, it immediately, uh, the, the, the culture shifted. But what I wanna do is I want them, because a lot of times when things go real time, right? We don't, we don't sit down and we don't think about, think about when we, Think about when Manny Diaz was here, and I asked him the question, and we all just felt like Kane football was fucked up. It was, it was, it was going to shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and <clears throat> me asking him the question, he couldn't answer. Yeah, he couldn't answer. No, I didn't mean to do that though, dog. But it was, no, real, it was real time. He had no pressure on him. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it was real time though. And at that time, I was saying keep Manny Diaz, because I, I didn't yeah. think I didn't have any faith in the AD. I didn't have any faith in them actually changing the program. And then we got word that that Mario was coming, money yeah. was coming, and yeah. then people was like, nah, man, it ain't no way he gonna leave Oregon. He get Harachis when he want to get them. They didn't, they didn't think it was coming. But just think back to the time where we didn't think he was coming. We didn't think Miami was gonna change. And now the whole program just, just flipped. 
I kind of thought he was coming. Yeah. I knew it was well, coming. We, well, we knew he was coming, yeah. but I want them to think because a lot of them doubted yeah. us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of them doubted us. We knew. I mean, but 20 years, uh, well, I ain't going to say 20. I'm going to say 15 years, you've seen the same thing over and over. Right, um, right, right, right. Lazy hires. Uh, right. You're paying the head coach like but three million and then the rest of the style getting paid like fifty thousand. Right, so, right, right, right. They're trying to do it with smoke and mirrors. Bro. Yeah, and then expecting all the top recruits to stay home just because you Miami, uh we Miami. We then got put five. your foot on their neck. Talk yeah. about <laughs> talk about you put a rep for the crib. Yeah, right. And y'all ain't repping. Um <laughs> yeah, I, it's it's yeah, it was fifteen years though. It was Yeah, I'ma say after two what, two thousand and five, two thousand six. This is just a slow slide. I mean, and, and, and it brought us into, he comes, everything starts changing. A lot of this stuff is in his contract. I've heard enough now. A lot of this stuff is in his contract for things to change. So it has to change, you know what I'm saying? It, it, um, that's, that's basically what took it so long to happen. Um, oh. They had to guarantee that the things he wanted would happen. Right. Because um, he wasn't leaving that perfect situation over there right. to cut to some shit. Right. And... and Right, and that's what people couldn't believe. You know what I'm saying? You got the owner of Nike walking around everywhere. Boogie, whatever money you want to spend. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. Um, but he came home for a bigger reason. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He came right. home because his mom was hurt, and it was the perfect. I mean, it's a perfect situation for his him. His mom basically said it like, you know, that was his dream job. You know, right. she, she envisioned him coaching University of Miami. Right, right, right. So that was for him to come home. Right, right. He comes home, the culture immediately shifts. Um, the whole city, you know what I'm saying? The right, whole right. city, the, the, the Miami Heat started playing better. The, the Hurricane <laughs> basketball team started playing better. The baseball team, the one, what, 15, 14 in the row. Girlfriend, kid, got up, cooked breakfast a couple yeah, times. She, the chicks had tussies, they, they gave me a good number. <laughs> nah, but yeah, no, the whole, the whole city done changed. Um, and I guess, you know, they saying, well, if they gonna invest in you win, mm. you know what I'm saying, not serious, everything's serious in Miami again. And when Mario said, he say when Miami's kicking ass, you know the whole world is better. Right, right. But he, but he's hired. He's he's hired a coaching staff that I've been saying is the the greatest coaching staff they ever hired. You know, um, on paper so far, greatest coaching staff on paper they ever hired by far is is the most money they've ever put out there. Yeah. Um, but you got what two, three Hall of Famers walking around. Yeah. You got. <laughs> You got a coach Charlie Strong. We would have took Charlie Strong as a head coach. Yeah, we'd have took him as a head coach. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, you got he you coaching got. kickers or something, man. Yeah, we like, he's just doing anything out there. You know what I'm saying? Coaching linebackers. Um, you got Steele who's been in forever. You got Gaddis. Yeah, who, Gaddis who just got awarded the the right. Browns Award the other right. day. Right. And um we got something we're, we're gonna put that together and to show y'all how Jimmy Johnson and Dennis Erickson, like these guys are uh greats, right? They 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 go down as as legends. But they, they wasn't legends coming in. Until they got they became Miami. legendary here. And you, you, you go to Wikipedia and look for yourself. Um, and I think Mario about to come. I think he about to do the same thing to the city of Miami. So listen, bro, spring game tomorrow. How they going to do it? How they going to do the spring, spring game? Spring game format? Um, yeah. Basically, it's going to be offense versus defense. Um, no traditional one versus twos, mm -hmm. uh, twos versus ones. Throw a little threes in there. It's going to basically be offense versus defense. Um, because I think in the depth, the depth issue, you can't right. you can't go three depth right, right now, right, 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 you know. Right, so right. And, and then at the same time, you want to see your best go against your best. You want to see ones go against ones most. Right. Um, if that guy's a third string, fourth string, nine times out of ten, he not really finna get in the game. So you don't want to see him <laughs> playing against TVD. They ain't or, getting no reps anyway in yeah, practice. I mean, so they're going first string, second string, first string, second string. Yeah. So first half of the. Spring game is going to basically be offense versus defense. And uh -huh. then second half format will most likely be um, situational football. Now. Okay. You know, um, I'm going to put in this package of uh, three tight ends or right. two, two, you know, right. three receivers, stuff like that. And then um, the defense will be able to match the offense, stuff like that. That is that the best format? Is that, is that how you would want to say I, it? I, yeah, me right now. Yeah. With our depth issues, yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't want TVD uh, going against um, the guy who, not gonna, who might not be on the team no more. <laughs> right, right, right. You got any expectations, man? Like, like you know they're not going to show anything, but what do you what do you want to get out of them all? I just want to see the effort. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, the effort where each each play is competitive. Um, right. No letdowns because this guy just maybe have better superior talent than me. Mm-hmm. You know, at least I'm out there giving the effort. Right. You know, I'm stuff like that. That's it. All you want to say that for you don't care about. I mean, no. I pretty. I mean, I'm out. We out there practice, so I pretty much see yeah, what's sure out there. Man. Pretty much what we yeah, see. Yeah, but still, we pretty much know who's gonna be making plays. Right. Oh, look at this shit. Snoop wanna talk in the middle of this. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much know who's gonna be making no, plays. No, I, I, I wanna. Uh, I wanna see Thad, bro. I wanna see Thad from where Thad came from. Um, where he started at. Um, local kid that I covered for for a while. She started rough for him. Yeah, first, um, first. I mean, no, first year, gonna, first year, first year, first year. I thought, I, I thought Mario was going to be, I thought it was going to be it for him. Um, but he got his it together. Bernie yeah. Mass got hurt. He got a shot. I think, I think that's what helped a lot, the fact that uh, Cheney and Paris are out. He said, boy, you know, I could kind of get in and get in where I fit in now. Right, he got his stuff together. He did. Yeah. Because one of them, but some, somebody left the team just, just recently. Yeah, well, we we all and we broke that news. But you know, the Miami Hurricane, what it was the Miami Hurricane uh, website or a, a paper credited sometime, us? Sometime, I mean, it was MiamiHurricane.com or something. I think it was like the in-house paper they credited us. Yeah. The, the, the Cody Brown news um, that Cody Brown was leaving. Is he in the border yet? Nah, he he hasn't officially hit it, but he's not with the team. Yeah, he wasn't out there. He wasn't out there the other day. Probably next week he announced. Um, I think you know probably trying to finish his class right now. And right. Then, but we knew somebody, one of them, somebody. I mean, one of them. I, I, I knew it was gonna be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was gonna be that guy. He just don't fit the mold that they want. Yeah. He don't fit the mold of my Hurricane running back. You know. So. Cody. He. Yeah. We got him late. Why? I remember us getting um, him late. Tennessee. I guess I don't know if they dropped the ball with mm-hmm. the bag. Remember they had little issues with the the McDonald bag, whatever bag, something like that. With him. It was a, a half of the recruit class. Oh, y'all yeah, remember that? They had two teams in there? Yeah. Uh, they supposedly gave everybody the, the, the bags and dinner. Yeah. Some get money in there and the money not in there or something. So. <laughs> and he kind of fell through? He fell. He fell. And, um, on signing day, he was still there, I think. And then he got out of it and then right. came to University of Miami. Right, right. All right. Thanks, man. Um, just wanted to ask a question. I know you guys are at practice every single day. What they're saying is that we're going to bring in maybe seven or eight more transfer guys, right? You know, sources. Yeah. Who told you that? That 15, man. Right. There's people, right? And I want to know, do you feel like, in your opinion, from what you've seen, we need seven or eight more guys? And if so, at what positions would you say we need guys who can come in right now and play if we bring in a transfer? I think we do need them um, for depth reasons. I don't think anybody we got out the transfer portal outside of – Porter, um, the cornerback from West Virginia, who would come in and immediately start. I think everybody would be like a plug-in. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think we bought some. We bought back players enough to start. Now, after that is when you say uh, who, who we have next. Um, maybe off of the line. Like, the guy that, that everybody going crazy about him. You know, I think, uh, you know, he could be one who probably – Come in and play right away. Um, maybe the what's, what's the defensive lineman guy? The, um, well, the one from West Virginia. From West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Mesador. Mesador. Yeah. He's a uh, might be one. Um, and linebacker. Right now at linebacker, we Keisha, Ke- Smith is the alpha. He's who? He's the alpha, but on the field he ain't. He ain't showing he's alpha. So yeah. he flashes. He make he makes plays. Oh yeah, he's he's that. But it's like when he want to out. Denzel Perham is alpha. Yeah. He, he you know what I'm saying every play he's gonna make. He shine. He actually might not be there right. just yet. I think I, I think when we start talking about the transfer portal. You can always um, upgrade. I mean, it's, it's like anything, man. It's like you you can always upgrade. There's always somebody in the transfer portal better than what you got. Um, we're in that linebacker now, bro. Then, yeah, we got some players that's <laughs> out. Um, I think we got like three that's out. Yeah, I think we can use some speed. Earl Little talking to Earl Little, he was saying we think we speed use speed at what position? Though? Wide receiver. Wide receiver speed. I think we um, use a little more speed. Who is Professor Keyshawn Smith? What? Bashar Smith. You think Bashar faster than Keyshawn? Of course. Quicker. Faster. You just like they play us fool. 
What I mean, I'm from Dave. Yo, like what you want me to see the bullshit, HBO. <laughs> nah, we we could use another burner like the boy from Louisville. Everybody keep why you keep talking about it because he's from because he's from. I mean, he from Dave too. Right, right. Oh, I mean, me personally, I don't want the kid. But anybody else got a question? Why they want the kid from Louisville? Cause he run a four two. Yes. He been in college for it what, four highlight. years, five years? He been in college for a while. But How many catches he it got? Says highlights. It says highlight like nasty. I might have more catches than him. Nah. It says highlight like nasty. Yeah, he averaged, what, 29 yards a catch? Um, yeah. How much? 29 yards a catch. So the question about Mills. Uh-oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Dude, what's the level? Because Florida State making a big issue of it, right? Do we actually need Mills? Is he actually like a priority? I mean, huh. obviously we would love to have him, but is it to the point if we miss on him, do we hurt? No, I mean, we don't get him. We not hurt, but he's – He's a priority. They want him. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. They want him. You come um, right in and start doing right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so with him, you got a situation where you got Zion. Um, he's been the starter for us for three years so far. Uh, you can actually move Zion to the right side and let Mills be on the left side. Yeah, so so Campbell coming back as well. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Campbell being here, we don't know if Campbell is that guy. You know what I'm saying? He showed flashes, but we need 12 games. At least we know Zion can do 12. You know what I'm saying? So if Mims is the guy that the coaching staff won't say, yeah, he could come in and take either the right or the left side, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, you know, I think off the line, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I think I think they need them when we die without them. I mean, you no. Know, uh, I'll be honest with you. I mean, y'all hell alive. I heard he was – when it jumped off, I heard he was coming to Miami. But when so – now we're talking about NIL. We're talking about money. And the number that I heard Florida State had on the table was crazy. Yeah, but it's, then the it's, number I heard that you're offering is, is like, more. Yeah? It's way more. Even his family don't want to come. It's, 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 some, um, it's something within the family that's probably one that's closer. I, I mean, at the same time, it's nothing's guaranteed because he right. just left there and did not commit. Right, right. He didn't commit. I think he had committed to an NIL deal or something I heard. Um, I reached out to some people. Um, it was just NIL something he committed to. Maybe with, with War Chant. I was talking to some people and they, they were saying that they thought this how it was this how it was put. I say, so listen, man, like do you still fuck with Florida State like that? Do you he was like, nah, not really. He said, but I thought we was getting them. And that's how that's how it was worded. Um, yeah, but he he just left the day off. Uh, I mean the the word was coming from his people and him was he was supposed to come down to Miami on Friday. Right. We don't know if he came down at all. Um now, if he comes tomorrow, that's good for Miami. Yeah. You know, but um, that's if he comes, so we don't know. Um, but, it's, again, it's not it's not a loss. It's not a hurt if we don't get him. Because, um, like you say, Campbell comes back. Um, who else we have coming back up? Rivers will be back for mm-hmm. the, you know, so um, it's not a hurt. But it don't it, – it's a good thing to have if you got a – You're the number one player in Georgia, right? Yeah, number no four player in the nation. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so, um, so, so nah, so it, 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 it what, what were you thinking? Um, you was thinking that what? That we, we good with what we got? No, 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 we good. I mean, we need them, but you know, when I start looking at it, it's like, okay, you at your spot already. Mm-hmm. You got a, a national champion. Right. You getting upset because guys passing you up. Right. You sound like, you sound kind of I mean, but then um, uh, Jermaine Burton, he left and went to Bama. So, you would you say the same thing about him, though? So, so you heard you you heard somebody say that because well, we were trying to figure out why he left. Yeah, I got some people from Georgia that say yeah he's he's soft he's lazy, but I'm like man I I don't know I mean listen six seven and three fifteen I still want you on my team. But listen, transfer portal was nothing we had to talk about anyway. With the, with the money that these kids have a chance to make, think about it. He came in a year right before this nil stuff kind of jumped off, right? He just won a national championship with Georgia, right? I'm sure he's next in line. Food. With the number that I heard they offering this dude, you jump back in the portal, you trying to see how much you worth. We got to start looking at this thing different, man. This thing is business, man. Like, man, you talking about hundreds of thousands a year. So he jumped back in to test the market. And it's going to happen to us, too. That's just what the game going to be. You know what I'm saying? That's just what the game going to be. I, I mean, so... I started asking around, well, why he left? But then you start hearing these numbers. It's obvious why he, why he left. Yeah. Ain't giving no Six. damn national championship. I'm finna get. 
six I figures. Online, I know online is a position to me in the state of Florida, period. And the NIL deal, it all uh, benefits all three schools. But what does a meal ticket for a, a player that, that has no proven record on the field hold in the portal? Are we just basing everything just off their potential? Or are we just, you know, throwing every the bread and butter and everything we got at a kid just off they, you know, they God given the ability to just yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. if they giving high school kids, um, yeah, yeah they giving high school kids uh, yeah. nil deals. You 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 don't know they're gonna be good in high in college. You don't even know if they're gonna go to class. They all world in, in high school, but some of them max out. And by mm-hmm. time they get to college, they don't. So yeah, they just. I mean, you basically off your potential. Right, right. Um, I think the thing you had, which when you have a kid coming from a major college going to another major college, um, it's a lot. Like he say, uh, it's, it'd be money wise. Um, competition wise, and going, going getting closer to home, you know. So you have a lot of factors in that. But um, you just don't know. But for a kid that hasn't done anything in college, then you're like, yeah, man, why would we finna spend all this money on this kid? Yeah, that's his potential. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so we know that the kid is going to portal for a reason. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is. How does a player like Mims get the meal ticket without doing anything? Well, he did. He did. He he, 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 did. he graded out like 71%. So he graded out at like 71% in the um, PFF okay. when he did play. So he did play. Um, it wasn't – I think it was like he played over 100-something, like 150-something plays. Okay. So he did play. So, I mean, I guess they looking at it like that. And one last thing. Um, is it true that we're jumping on this train late and kind of overreacting to the early FSU moves? With Mims? Yes. Um, I think, okay, so the, the, the like I said, the worry was he's supposed to come on Friday. Somebody else reported that he was supposed to come mm-hmm. Wednesday and Thursday. So when he showed up at Florida State, that was the red flag right there. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean. I, I heard today that they've been on him since January. So he's already had like a, a relationship built there. It's not just, you know, the money factor. I think that the, the whole fan base kind of like losing their cool today, just thinking that it's just based all off a deal. But I think the relationship has something to do with it. And I just think we kind of overreacting if we do lose them to Florida State. Yeah, Streeter did. Streeter, well, I think we did a whole segment about the fact that you kind of double recruit kids now out of high school. Right. Florida State was recruiting him in high school. So he had built that relationship with – um. Atkins. Um, so now they double recruit. When he hit the portal, it's easy now. We already got the relationship. Hey, you almost chose us the first time, now choose us the second time. The right. same with um, the guy we just got, um, uh, Jonathan Dennis. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. All the juice here at the Canes event, you know what I'm saying? Go Canes all with all day, every day. So you already know we got the lemonade on deck, all flavors. Passion fruit, mango, blue Hawaiian, green apple, peach lemonade, fruit punch lemonade, peach starburst lemonade. We got it all right here, and we got the Don Julio margaritas on deck. So come holler at us, man. You should have came. If you're not here, you should have wished you would have been here, you know what I'm saying? See all the beautiful art. We right here at Lavish Lounge. Molly Juice, Caneville, you already know. No, like yeah, like like Samar Stewart, like um, Mario, they haven't given up on Samar and, and Mo. Uh, he talk to him every week. Uh, I think their relationship is as strong as it ever been. It's y'all the fans, y'all the ones that gave up on him. <laughs> <laughs> they gave up on. Him. Oh, we don't want that kid. <laughs> man, if Samar called tomorrow and say, man, I want to come home. I'm jumping on a plane to go get him. Hey, come on, I got you. <laughs> hey, we I got was, you. We was following them that whole morning, man. We got like footage of of the whole morning. We the I hop. Um, went back to the house and me and Twan walked in the house and we saw we saw his setup and what he was wearing. And we we could have just started crying right there. We was like, we got to keep it together, keep it together, dog, keep it together. <laughs> it ain't going down today. Um, at that at that time, I mean, we we kind of. We really didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like following around, like we didn't know after we interviewed him. We like we didn't know because I don't make my thing to act kids. Yeah, we like didn't that. know until that morning when I text you and say, "Damn, boy, we we shit out of luck right now." <laughs> Y'all were like what? I say, man. But nah, they still on them. 
they still own him. And I mean, he has to go to Texas A&M and in and, and, uh, a recruiting class, the, the greatest recruiting class ever recruited, the highest rated class ever recruited, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, but even some of Texas A&M fans are like saying like, yeah, boy, some of these guys ain't gonna be here. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's not like they stopping, they still bring, they, so they finna bring in another top class again. You know what I'm saying? So right. now, you know, you bring in players to replace other players. Right. All right, we're going to take some questions. Um, not first time ever shooting with people in front of us. This is a little different ex people looking at us, man. Yeah, he, he nervous, man. I done played in front of 10,000, 15,000. I ain't played at Chase High School, man. It's, it's they didn't even have me. lights. Tell me, man, talk. Hey, nah, we had lights. We had major lights. So, you know, it was a blessing of a curse when we was winning last year and when we lost. So, if you know for a fact, if Manny would have won them games, the ACC game, we wouldn't be here today. Not like this. What you know? After Manny lost Virginia game, I knew he was getting fired. You sure? I know. What he game was, was that? Game in, game in Virginia, what? that was game four. Who listen? We we had Manny fired like after game three. We had to, we had to listen, man. Okay, so now y'all here. Y'all y'all here. Game, game two. Game, game two. Y'all here, so we can get fast now, right? Two hundred. Listen. Check me out. Check me out. We had him fired. We had Manny fired after game three, right? We made a video. We made a video, we said he was fired. You know what I'm saying? We said he was fired, but we put the video in the bank, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we never released it because sometimes when, when news happen fast, we got to get something up fast. So it was already made. And I was at a comedy show one night, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody did catch it. I was at a comedy show one night. I'm going to tell the story. Y'all going to let me tell the story? <laughs> what the fuck going on? So I'm at the comedy show, and I get see a tweet, and I, I read it as if Manny was fired. That's how I read it. So I thought, oh shit, I gotta get the video up. And I put the video out. Uh -huh. And like five people saw me say, man, he was fired. And boy, they was on my ass. They was on Flow Show. Streeter said, man, he was fired. I was like, man, I kinda did, but I didn't. You wouldn't understand. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it was. But but we had him fired early in the season, bro. How did he hang on that long? They keep saying his daddy. We, we don't yeah, know. His daddy had some political ties, but he didn't know. Yeah. What you're but I, I don't know. You think if, if Manny went went out, right? If he went out, right? What what was the nail in the coffin? Because I think well, I change think, was I coming think, regardless. I think, okay, again. When, if if Kirk Street calls, calls him out, calls out, if Kirk Street calls out, I think it still goes the same way. No? Nah, nah. Uh, when Kirk Street called him out, Kirk Street didn't just call Manny out. He called the university, he called the, uh, the president. Once the president right. got called out, the president was like, That's what I'm on. saying. So if Manny wins out, right? Still if Kirk Street calls, still calls him out, come out and calls him out, I think it may fall the same way. I think so. I don't know. Okay, so again, that third game uh -huh. <laughs> against, um, no, no, it's the second. Wasn't it Appalachian State or something like that? Who we played after Alabama? It was Appalachian State. Okay, whatever game that this coach, that's whatever. Virginia. He, he, we get the ball with like two minutes left. We can go down and drive and score. And he just goes and try to kick some field goal. We miss the field goal and lose. From that moment was when they started putting the pressure. Oh, what is Miami doing? I mean, but then they don't care about football no more. They lost both ways, right? Yeah. <laughs> they tried both ways. So it was good because, you know, then the Mario thing started coming all on Kane's sport. Y'all didn't say too much. Y'all, you know, basically everybody talk about Gary and them. Gary and them cool now. Matt, I like Matt. Gary go to the left sometimes. But I ain't not gonna be cool. Y'all bring the heat, y'all bring the noise, y'all bring it real. Y'all talk about Stuart. Y'all talking about, like you said, God damn, he ain't coming now. Oh shit, what am I doing? <laughs> but y'all real to the game. Because right. y'all in the inner city and y'all deal with it. You know, and I'm from the 757. It's inner cities everywhere you go. And y'all know the kids. So it's a bigger difference than what. Matt and Gary do, but they good, but y'all bring the heat. That's what makes it real. Thanks, man. Appreciate Thanks. that, bro. Yeah. Anybody else got a question? What? Yeah, uh, I was watching the Florida Screen game last night. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, wow. Uh, there, was a, there was a particular guy I didn't really see on the field like that. I haven't heard anything about no in injuries or nothing like that. But kind of, it, his name, he named after a popular uh, clothing store. A <laughs> popular clothing store? Uh, called oh. Marshall. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I just wanted to know. Because you mentioned uh, double recruitment. Right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, are we uh, talking to him? Hey, man, I'm, I'm not in that. I'm not even going to jump into Listen, that. Listen, man, X is in it 100%. I you believe what he said? X and them motherfuckers hit neck deep. Yeah, just, it was a big game. They, they, they moved the game for 
He wasn't out there? I, didn't, I ain't seen three. Yeah, no, nah, he didn't. He didn't. I think he was out there, but not a lot. But um, I'm not. I'm not jumping into that portal right there. Okay. Okay. Y'all leave it alone. Yeah, I mean, a couple of months ago, two months ago, we heard that it was possible. Um, then I, reached I don't know what he heard. I didn't. It wasn't me. <laughs> so what are we gonna do with this man, man? What are we gonna do with this man, man? <laughs> Yeah, a month ago we heard it was possible, and then it's, it just sounded it, it sounded weird. But but I keep saying a lot of these a lot of these situations are going to sound weird now because money is involved. So so it's going to be decisions made that don't make sense. Quarterbacks going to Tennessee, and it's just not going to yeah, make sense. Yeah. But money is involved now. Um, I would love to have Jason, but he's the one out of all of them I would have, I would have, <laughs> I would have took. Yeah, Sreeda was like, man, that was the one man, out of the whole class that he really wanted back. Nah, he, yeah, he's, he, I think he could have came in and played. He started for us last year. No, he played. Deal, um, again, like I say, double recruit. Um, it's a situation where it might can happen, it might can't happen. Um, it's up to him and his family. That's all I can say. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. The question. Somebody else over there. What should our realistic expectations be for this season? Talk about as far as record wise or yes, just record wise. Well, we don't do the record thing, man. We we do that all the time, and then we oh we finna be ten to two, and next you know we seven and five. And Everybody put out their phones and pull up the schedule. How I go every year. Yeah, yeah. Now only see one loss on the schedule, dog. One loss. Texas and them, and we might be them. Yeah, you got Pittsburgh. You naming all the damn teams we lose to every year. You got Pittsburgh, North Carolina. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I mean, I, I I don't give the expectation no more, man. I just say win, win game one, win game, you know, win each game. Um, the, the, the blessing thing is we got two kind of cupcakes before we go play the Texas a now. Well, but I'll give you this. This is what I believe. Um, I believe that Miami was missing one thing, and it was it was, it was was coaching. Coaching and development. It was resources. I think the talent has always been here. I proved that when I asked Manny that question. Talent has always been here. They, they was missing one thing, coaching and resources. So let me ask you this. If the talent has always been here, mm -hmm. why are we going into the portal so much then? Shit, Ace, why you didn't do that in front of everybody? I mean, I mean you said the talent <laughs> always been here. Kind of what the fuck was that? <laughs> no, no, okay, but. <laughs> no, listen. I, the talent has been here over the years to win. Now, I think the holes yeah. come from the people who understand recruiting. They're like, man, we're not taking our kid to D'Onofrio. Then you get hoes, you know what I'm saying? But you get the Duke Johnson. You get, you know what I'm saying? You got players we've been putting in the in, 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 in NFL. Yeah, we, 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 we've been putting in Number the, one with Clemson. Right. We, out right. of ACC players. Right. right. So I, I think I think you're going to see an instant. I think it's going to be turned around instantly. Um, I think they can play for an ACC championship next year instantly. I just don't. I don't want to see Clemson. He said it. He said it. I said, he said it. it. I just, oh, you don't want to see who? I don't want to see Clemson. ACC. Did you not see they um they they game? Right, they go still go. got that quarterback. Here go this shit again. <laughs> I don't want to see them. I don't know if they're. I don't know if we're ready to stand Compete up to that. Yeah, they, they lost their defensive coordinator. They done put us over there. How many times they done put us over there? Well, they, they lost, lost their defensive coordinator. They lost the offensive coordinator. Well, and we got a whole new they staff. Their quarterback is. Their quarterback might be worse than the the, the the one we had a couple years ago, who, mm -hmm. who got caught smoking weed the day before the game. So, X and Street, y'all out there every day. How much difference is it now versus then? It's a major Man. difference. It's a major yeah. difference. Yeah. It's been. It's all business now. It's not. You know, ain't no lag. I don't see no coach laughing. Oh, um, ain't no game. Now they be they own them hard, and there's so many coaches that the players can't. They gotta run from station to station. Everywhere they go, they gotta run. There's so many coaches, the players can't. They can't rest. They can't. They can't lollygag. But what's crazy is, is that off the field, it's like a party. It's like the good yeah, 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 out there. Like they don't care. Like they, it's, I'm serious. Like they don't. It's not really like they're they're holding things back. I mean, you get people. You see in the video when Najee talking to me, and he say, "What's up, Ed Reed?" And Ed Reed just leaves from coaching. Come dap him up. It, that part of it right there, I think Cristobal is trying to embrace. He wants it to be a movie like it used to be out there. So right. don't be surprised if the fucking city girls show up out there. Some shit. <laughs> I mean, Trick was out there. Trick, Trick. Trick. Well, the city girls next then. Here they coming. <laughs> I don't know. They, they come out there. They might not be able to concentrate. The city girls. Yeah, they might be able to concentrate. Ricky would have been out there. Look. Luke was out. Luke yeah. was out there. Mm -hmm. was we, out we, there. We, 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 we did a okay, video Luke. Okay, Luke, he's back. He's welcome back at he's University. Back. He's, he's welcome back. back. He's welcome back. Uh -huh. 
But no, the players, I think the players see a lot of the former players coming out there. Right. The Hall of Fame players, and then they got to step their game up because they don't want to look bad in front of them. Understood. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's how I used to be back in yeah. the day. Remember I asked Bane that question? I was yeah. like, yeah, what, what pain in front of Joe Namie do for you? And he was like... <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to look bad in front of your name. You want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we take a few more. Anybody else got any questions, man? Talk to me. Y'all talking about transfer yet? Is transfer yet? Y'all talking about males yet? Um, yeah, we did. We just talked about males. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I mean, who else? We, well, we just lost two: uh, Tyree Austin Cage and Cody yeah. Brown. We kind of knew they was gonna go. Um, we got some detectives trying to figure out why Austin Cage couldn't got down. Yeah. Uh, touch the city, man. Ain't snout the field, fool. Yeah, and, and there's gonna be a couple more leaves, man. Yeah. I um I don't know if they are telling them to go, but I but I think it's, it's happening like through reps. Yeah, they, yeah, like, they reps. Right, right, right. Because you got some players saying, "Boy, I ain't getting no rep." Like I think that was Austin off, off Cage didn't get any, mm-hmm. like any. Can you can you speak on uh, Leonard Taylor? Because his play been really up and down. Okay, so a lot of people keep asking me about that. Um. I think the coach staff's really trying to push push the alpha out of Leonard. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, okay, Leonard don't play as much as his freshman year, but comes back, he's the guy. He, he letting everybody know he's the guy. Mm-hmm. New coaches staff come in, you know, Leonard, you ain't just finna get this. Like, you just, just because who you are. You got to get it, you know, show us that you want it. Leonard will go out there and do something one play. Next play, you know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I think they're trying to push that alpha out of They want Leonard to almost kind of like be what you see with James Williams doing. James Williams showing everybody like, yeah, I'm here. This yeah. is me. Yeah. I got control of it. Like so they want yeah, Leonard right. to do that too. Right. I mean, they, Mario basically came in and said, only one guy going to start. And that was TVD. Everybody else you shouldn't work for it. They need a lot out of him and Jafari Hart. They, they, they're going to gonna need they need a lot out of them too, man. I think we, we, we thin now. Uh, um. Somebody else had a question? Oh, I see. One thing we're talking about enough. Uh, Give us your thoughts on TBD. Oh, no Star X, man. Oh. <laughs> I heard somebody in the space yeah. today say, well, nobody asking for TVD to star when King was in. I was saying to myself, X was. <laughs> I'm only. <laughs> Since TVD got on campus, I was the only guy say, man, that's that's our guy. He gonna be the guy. What I, did you see? Man, I just seen somebody who who command the offense. When he's on the field, you can throw the ball, you can make each throw. Um kind of remind me just, you know, like when Gino, when Gino Toretto came, you can just make each throw, you just so confident. But I just don't think he got that connection with the receivers just yet. Once he get there, like he's he gonna be crazy. Like I knew he was the guy. I kept telling him, I said, "Boy, man, Jake gonna start." Said, Ooh, Jake, y'all forgot about TVD. I had done passed him up and all. Boy, I had done sent him back up north and all. Boy. Yeah, they they had him like oh, he gonna transfer. Like man, Jake gonna start. Like he was the guy. His arm was better. And he outplayed him when they played against the House of the Blind. He, yeah. he outplayed him. Jake had a good name, good game, and TVD had a, like a perfect game. Yeah, I think he missed one pass. Right. He missed it. Drop. Okay, somebody dropped it. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody dropped it. Oh, yeah. I mean, and then okay, we go play North Carolina State, and he say, "Man, we beat them guys last year. We gonna beat them again." And then act like he didn't know what he was saying. Yeah. Oh, he knew it. You see him up out that night like John Travolta. He knew what the hell he was saying. I fell for that shit. I mean, that was, that was PR talk. Hey man, you can't say that now. You can't. Go out there. But no, when he said that, I I told him I said, "Bro, all right, team that watch the team back get behind him." From that moment, he was our guy. I mean, he been our guy for me. So, so I so if you had to put a percentage, right? On why, the reason the offense picked up in the end of last year, TVD or Lastly? Well, who percentage? What, what what would the percentage be? Who 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 was it? TVD or Lastly? Both. Um, I would say man. Yeah, I don't even start. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I'm gonna say sixty percent TVD, forty percent Lastly. Lastly. Lastly, kind of the first couple of games, he kind of you know withheld him to do certain things. Yeah. And um, once he got comfortable with him, like TVD just went out there and I used to know, damn, damn he throwing passes that we didn't think he could throw. Okay. <laughs> with uh, Will Mallory being out, how has Arroyo and Skinner looked? Shit, but skin I look down. Arroyo got hurt. Arroyo got hurt, too. So it was Skill and Khalil. I mean, and they stepped up, too. Nah, yeah, Khalil and Skinner look 
damn good. A Skinner, Skinner right now looks like he could get some major playing time. Damn. Yep. <laughs> He's already like 6'5", 230. Yeah. Um, he, like, yeah, when when when, Mal- when when Arroyo got hurt, they started throwing the ball a lot more yeah. to Skinner. Right. I, but I think Arroyo's going to be fine, man. Ar- Arroyo, that guy. All right, man, we about to bring Lance from Texas up here. Crazy. <laughs> 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 we're gonna get Lance Leggett in here, man. Lance Leggett in here. Get, get, get another chill, man. Get, get Lance, we're gonna get Lance Leggett in here. All right, man. We we here, man. Um, we here. Spring game, pregame party, man. With X and we got got our boy in this thing, man. Lance Leggett, man. Y'all, mm-hmm. Lance Leggett done took over the spaces in Twitter with his with his with his taste one boiled peanuts. Um, Lance, you, you had a signing today, right? Yeah, I have. Who's had a signing with you? Uh, Beeson. Kane's Barber, uh, Snorris Moss, uh, Stephen Wesley. Oh, shit. Ooh, I hear about Stephen Wesley was there? Lamar Thomas. Yeah? Lamar yeah. Thomas was there? Yeah. Cracking jokes and stuff? Oh, Mike good. Hartley. <laughs> Mike Hartley. Kane, he just, hey, he just popped up for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love him. Yeah? Yeah. Listen, when, when, when you first, when, when Mario first got here, it's kind of like when me and you started talking. Um, you was like one of the first person that started saying, man, Mario called me every week. Yeah. I didn't know everybody on this side of Florida was going to start saying, Mario called me every week. I don't know <laughs> if you that. Yeah, yeah, and the crazy thing about it, I don't know if they tell the truth, but I definitely could tell you. I, I don't show text messages, but if I would, if I was that type of person, I'd show you. Wow. He, called, he hit me up every Wow, time. what's your relationship with him? Man, like I told everybody, everybody in the space, they should know. I was Mario's first recruit ever at University of Miami. But that's that's yeah yeah. And yeah. When he when he he told me the story like when he got the job, Coach Coker and Coach Dan Warner told him, hey, you got to get on the uh, flight, you go see this uh, kid in Texas. Mm-hmm. So he came out that came to my track practice, and man, he he went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Was he all on you, man? Was, did he recruit the same way? Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Listen, <laughs> like I told you, I went out there to the practice the other day, and I saw him get on X. It's made a hell of a play. Triple? Yeah, he made a hell of a play. Yeah. And he spent the ball. Hey, you'll probably you'll take that flag and practice. But I saw how crystal ball got on. I said, yeah. That's yeah. the same crystal ball. But he gonna get on you when you're doing good. I mean when you're doing bad. Yeah. But when you're doing good, he gonna praise you. He gonna make you he gonna make the public know you the best player in the nation. So you personally know him? I'm the person. He was on the plane with your peanuts and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody listen. Everybody, everybody hit me up. Man, you had Crystal Ball do that? Nah, bro. I didn't have, I had no clue at all. Mm-hmm. Man, I um, me and my, I picked up my dad to go to the um, to the banquet. Right. You already know he going. He had to go. He had to come up there see the number one player in the nation. He had the number one uh, cornerback in the nation. Come on, McLean. Hey, you already know why he was there. But um, I got there a little early so I could chop it up with my dad. Wanted to see him because they had a good relationship as well. As well. Mm-hmm. And uh. He asked me, hey, Lance, you got some peanuts? Like, nah, Coach, I ain't got no peanuts. Because I'm going to bring it. What I look like bringing some peanuts at the banquet. I'm like, well, I'm chilling. I thought chillin'. you always had a peanuts, though. Nah, nah. Like the cartoons. Nah, nah, nah. You know how many, listen, <laughs> you know how many people at the crib be asking me, hey, Lance, you got some peanuts? They be trying to get me to sell them out the back of the trunk. Man, I ain't doing that shit. That's the peanuts story. Man, go to 7 Eleven. Then 7 Eleven. I'm by every corner in Polk County. Yeah. But nah, you got um, so, so you didn't have none? Nah, I, I didn't have any. So just so happened, probably like a half a mile away, it was a store I had a peanuts in. Mm-hmm. I said, I'll just go grab some. So I grabbed some, brought them back. And um, at the end of the uh, banquet, I was taking my dad home. <laughs> Next thing you know, my uh, <laughs> Your phone's not going. <laughs> one, the gamer, this gamer who always, uh, Matt Daddy Dimes, he always represent, he always putting on for taste one. Uh, he hit me up, he say, Lance. Um, you seen that picture ball Crystal, Crystal Ball had too? I like, yeah, I seen it because early that day, my PR had sent me a picture <laughs> right. of somebody who I don't know who the hell did it. I still to the day don't know because I ain't looking to it. Who did a, <laughs> who did a Photoshop of the picture of the peanuts in right. his lap? Cause you know he had them lazy. And potato they put them in his lap. Yeah, he had them lazy potato chips in his lap. Right. So I like, yeah, I saw it. So I texted him that picture. He like, nah. He took a real picture. I'm like, what are you talking about? Man, listen. As <laughs> soon as I got on that got on that Twitter, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I probably had about shit, my shit probably look like your uh, football field. Your shit, my shit went <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, that that Twitter going off, 
And that got that wheel cycle going off. Was it? Playing that wheel cycle going off, but damn, just like that, huh? Yeah. That's what's up, man. That, yeah. That, nah, that, but that was straight. That straight. That was straight love, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Like I said, I had no clue. Right. But that's the thing. But Cristobal told me when I first, when he first, because he had the peanuts back before a lot of people. When he first got it, like two weeks into the job, he had the peanuts. Oh really? Yeah. He told me straight up. He said, "Lance, I'm gonna make everybody in college football know about these peanuts." Right. I'm like, man, do it. But I never knew what he was talking about. I ain't never asked, all right, coach. Yeah. He'll do that. Right. And shit, he big, just did man. it. Love. Mario really um, takes and recruit kids early in the morning. Yeah. 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 Man, oh, he texts me like that. <laughs> the hotel, he texts me man. 5 o'clock in the morning. Get what? I didn't, I didn't Get what? talk to say that, man. Get what? Uh, and I text him right back because I'm already up. Earl, Earl Little said, Earl Little said, man, I hope people understand now that they see the difference in and recruiting, the level of recruiting. He said, man, I ain't telling nobody. He said, but listen, man, Mario used to text me 7 o'clock in the morning when he was in Oregon. Now, some of y'all, I know some of y'all ain't going to motherfuckers. <laughs> if it's 7 o'clock in the morning here, mm-hmm. then it was like 4 wow. o'clock or some yeah, shit yeah, yeah. in Oregon. And he said he used to text him every morning. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what this man on. I don't. I don't know how he, he do don't it. Sleep. You know what I'm saying? He don't sleep. But it don't, listen, it don't bother me because that's this. That's how I always been. Yeah. So he hit me up. I'm telling like he hit me up one day. He like uh, it was him in the weight room coach. He sent me the picture with a flex. Both yeah. on flex. <laughs> I seen this as a picture with my bicycle. I just got ready to ride 25 miles. You know what I mean? You be riding back? So, yeah, oh, you know, I'm going to ride now. Yeah. I ride. Yeah. I ride. I like to go to Miami and ride. Right. So these come to Miami too? Hell yeah, they already here. They for the call. Listen, they better, they better be at that spring football game tomorrow. <laughs> they go, they be there. I got to come to the tent. You already know. Hey, OD, they got to come to the tent. <laughs> got to come to the tent. What you going to set up? You going to set up out there? You know what you going to set up at? How's it going to work? Oh, you already know that tent. They're going to have the best looking tent out there. I don't care. You say taste one on it? Of course. Oh. I'm had the best looking tent out there. I guarantee you. We ain't never thinking of the market like you. I guarantee you. Guarantee you, listen, you, listen, you. I guarantee you. Listen. Hey, I guarantee you, taste one had the best looking tent at that at that at that uh, spring game. What kill? Hey, kill. What yeah, kill? No. Oh, guarantee. <laughs> yeah, man. Street of Street got a whole box. One point, and I ain't get mine. He, no, he, yeah, they ate him up. Him and his family. It's cool. Nah, they 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 nah, they they real good. Give them a shot, man. They they, they man, you got listen, man, listen. Talk to him. You gotta order these right here. You ain't gotta order them. Listen, we gonna have them in your location, like right now. Like I told you, man, we in what seventy locations, thirteen seven eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Now we actually finna get ready to come south. And that's just in Polk County. Yeah, that's Polk County, but you know. Yeah. On the 16th, we're going to hit. It's 1370 levels in Polk County. We got plenty of money. Oh, I only got a half. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, Polk County is the number one fastest growing county in the state of Florida. Right? Look, the, the counties always uh, talking about they growing fast. Yeah, yeah. the number one. Always know they growing fast. We got fast. the number one company. Listen, oh, oh, we got Polk yeah, County. Go. Polk County got the number one company definitely in the state of Florida. What's that? Publix. That's where they came from. Oh, okay. Publix started in Polk County? Polk County. The number one company. So you should be straight there. Come on, man. Just chill. Yeah. <laughs> Publix is, though. Publix is, though. Yeah. So listen. Um... When I went out of town, when I was out of town, they always tell me Publix. I was gone, and they tell me Publix is the best grocery store in the country. Well, I had to be a way to hear that. Man, I think they did. Honestly, Publix is like, if you come to Polk County right now, uh-huh. like they building this new park. It's like, boy, this park, like, crazy. <laughs> right. Nice restaurants. But they, one thing I say about them, they won't let the county go down. They're going to always keep building it. Yeah. Before I let you get out of here, though, Foop, um, you and, you and Polk Way was talking trash on the space. I mean, you and yeah, first man, they, You really think Polk County can play in Dade County for oh, and, and look, wait, wait, wait. You know I love Dade County. This, I love it. Uh-huh. I'm always going. Because but shit, man, listen here. Polk County, we got some teams. Listen, we do. We got teams. Team? But let's make the match up. I already said it. I already said it. I think Lakeland should play the West. Right. Lakeland should play the West. You motherfucker right. Lakeland should play the West. And Central should play Lake Gibson. That's it. Lake Gibson just fired that guy. Right. And then we already said Luke. Luke want to with little Edison in there. I'm trying to put Edison in there, man. <laughs> he yeah. said he want to play Lake Wells. I'm trying to put Edison in there. He said Lake Wells. Yeah. But he said, he said team. Like, um, we could do that. He said, the two, he said only two teams from day. Mm-hmm. He didn't even say. Uh, Lake Gibson just fired their coach. 
It's too much. 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 The West down here, mm-hmm. and then the West come play Lakeland in the middle. You would love, now you right, but they don't need Polk County. Huh? They don't need Polk You would love for Lakeland to go play at the Mecca. Huh? You yeah. want Lakeland to go play at the Mecca? Then the Lake, I mean, then the West got to come play up there. Okay. Let's go everywhere anyway. <laughs> they fans going to travel just like the West. Yeah. They're going to be some sad ass fans. What? <laughs> So listen, man, we're going to come check your tent out tomorrow, all right? All right, definitely, most definitely. Yo, 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 we're going to yeah. get Haze in here, man. Anything you want to tell, tell the people what the website is? Man, y'all already know, man. Go to taste one boy peanuts with an S.com. That's taste one boy peanuts uh, with an S.com. Or you could go on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at taste one boy peanut co. And you go follow the follow the page, or they go order. You already know. Lance say, stop go, dipping your hand in the Stop dipping your hand, man. Listen, they the get it right here, man. <laughs> listen, got you know bag. we got the best. Listen, we got the best advertisement out right now. We got my dog right here, the HD. You got some funny like, verses. Oh, that's who do it all right here. Yeah. Who doing all this right here, man? He, you got to understand, like we grew up in the project together. That's my nephew, best friend. Yeah. And my, to- I told him with taste one, wherever I go, he going with me. Yeah. 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 Keep it real. Yep. Yeah, that's All right. cool. Let's go. All right, man. Next time, boo. Yeah, right now. Hey, it's come holler at us. You ready? Huh? You ready? Nah, you can do this shit by yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking he a pro. All right, man. So listen, I've been talking about Ed for like six months as our sponsor, right? Right. Y'all thought I was lying just because you get money from Ed, right? You tried it for the first time. What you think? Well, I'm so fired up off this, I get right back on the turnpike and go to Orlando, boy. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> Roast this nigga ass, boy. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> I'm gonna roast this nigga. Uh-huh. You ready? Yeah. All right, we back, man. Um, we back with with the, with the famous, the famous Coach Hayes here in our pre-spring game party, man. Um, congratulations, dog. Lance and Taste One just gave your mama an NIL deal, fool. Congratulations, fool. Chop it up for Coach Hayes, mama. Man. Hey, Lance, appreciate that, boy. <laughs> I need a, I need my own flavor, dog. Gotcha. Yeah, it is. Lemon pepper peanuts. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you what kind of production this is, dog. They ain't even have no chef for you, boy. Footballville mama so strong, she holding me up. I'm sitting on her back right now. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no chef for you, boy. Talk to me, man. Listen, man. All right, man. You gotta get her. Been sitting here for a long time. He's like hot in a bit. Spring game tomorrow. You coach college football before. You know what I'm saying? Um. From a, what, what can we expect, uh, expect out of a spring game? And what do coaches kind of get try to expect out of a spring game when they're running such vanilla, you know what I'm saying, such vanilla plays? What, what, what's the expectation from a coaching standpoint? Uh, to be honest, I hate to break y'all news. Oh, a coach don't care about what the fans <laughs> think when they come to these spring games. You know what I mean? It, this is another evaluation period for coaches. They use this as a tool for pregame stuff, meaning – you know, like, like I just saw the press conference with, with Mario where he talks about how to get on the bus, how to prepare for right. game day, how to get these things ready, when we eat our meals. That's what this is for. This is a dress rehearsal for the players come August. Because there's no, like, in high school where we got a jamboree and you get to try that out, right? right. You kick it straight off. So this is their jamboree. So they're going to go to the day, probably at the hotel, you know, the night before tonight. Yeah. You know, showing that that whole process. You know what I mean? Because remember, you got guys. They go through the whole thing. They go through the whole thing. I didn't know that. You know why? Because you don't want to wait till the season when it counts for a shorty to understand. I got a hotel key, (laughs) right? Like they want them to make these mistakes now, so they don't have to worry about it later. Um, And so that process in the game, it is a glorified practice. That's why the tickets free. I'm just calling the spade a spade right, here, right? right. right? Nah. They put it out is. there. They're gonna. It's, it's another scrimmage, right? The re- if y'all know, you've been every scrimmage. Yeah. Tell me if you ain't seen the referees out of every scrimmage, they every practice. Every practice. Every practice. That's they my practice. point. So this is just that's what I'm saying. So it's great for the players, so they understand the expectations come game day. Because even though it's Bethune game one, it's business game one. Yeah. Right. You understand? And they don't want them to go through those kind of mistakes. They want them to know what the expectations are, all that kind of stuff come to the game or the, the actual scrimmage, it is going to be, uh, for the most part, depends on how some people may do it. I know you talked about it earlier. Format. 
the format is they may have some kind of live scrimmage, maybe a running clock. Right. But then they're going to get situational things in because just because you do a running clock doesn't mean you're going to get a, always get a third and one. Right. They don't know what that is, so or they don't know sudden change, right? So, for example, you may see a quarterback, the, the, the offense goes out there. Even though they complete the pass, sideline is yelling, sudden change, sudden change, as if it's a turnover. Right. That gets the players on the field, guys off the field. You got to remember, it's game time. It ain't, it's controlled chaos. They're trying to get guys on and off the field. So you can't be down there eating Lance's dog going <laughs> to taste one peanuts. <laughs> right? right? You know right, what I mean? Right, right. You got to be in the game. Even though you're not on the field, you got to be in the game. So you can't be down there. And one of the biggest things you're going to see, or you may see, but it's always happened, is the transition after a touchdown. Right? I know it's something we practice at not like crazy, especially in high school. Mm-hmm. When you score a touchdown, offense jumping around, everybody screaming, they want to run to the gate, your mama happy. <laughs> but defense jumps offside, now you're a yard and a half from the end zone. I right. want to go two-point conversion, and I can't find two of my old linemen because they're down there taking Instagram. <laughs> right, right, right. So I'm just saying, so you're going to see a lot of situational football as well. They're going to create the situation because, again, this ain't for y'all as the fan base. This is for them to get better so they don't get fired against Virginia, yeah, <laughs> like you was talking about, because they missed a the field goal, or you've seen plenty of times, they go out there with 10 at field goal, and they got forced to take a timeout, Time out, yeah. or whatever, so the, all that stuff is crucial. So that's what that's what you're going to see tomorrow, and you're also going to see very vanilla. Right. Um, if you're a fan, look for running, blocking, tackling. That's, that's what you're looking for. That's it, that's it. Catching the ball, right, you're not going to see extra, you may see a trick play here and there just for... For, for giggles, but right. but uh, for the most part, it's going to be very fundamental because, again, these things are televised, and the Bethunes, the Southern Miss, the Texas A&M, they use that as breakdown information, as data yeah. for the upcoming season. Has anybody ever balled in the spring game and, it, and it, 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 it was who he was? Like, he balled out in the spring game and he turned into a star. Greg Russo, one name I come up with. Okay. Greg Russo yeah. went off in the spring game. Yeah. And then he got hurt. He got hurt. Yeah, right, right. But when he got a chance, anybody else you can think of? Hey, uh, recently or? Just any time. I don't give a fuck if it might hurt him. Oh, yeah. Um, I seen uh, Santana. No, Sonoris Moss ball in the spring game. He did? He did? Dog. Recently, wow. You talk about coaching so, so passionately, though. You miss coaching? I'm going to tell you this. I miss Friday well, Friday nights, right, is when we typically play. But that's 10% of coaching. It's the 90% of doing the week. No, nah, the practice is fine. <laughs> Anything dealing with a football and players, right. place, scheming, X and O, getting on the board, playing chess, all that, that's great. It's the outside board crap, the administration, the this. I don't even mind dealing with parents. They cool because they part of that process. Oh, boy, but it's the, the hardest part for me. Nah, I ain't care about no parents because you know what? If you set this table, be honest with you, and I know Miss Kelly talked about that. She had, she knew her, her, the expectations of these coaches, so she knew what, what she was in. Mm-hmm. I don't have a problem talking to parents. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, if a parent came to me and said, "Well, why my kid ain't playing? Because he got to do playing stuff." It just was called. I, I want to say. I want to say. Play, wait, wait, we got to do playing shit, dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean? You gotta you gotta do some stuff in order to get on the field. Right. I got faith in the words of Coach Jack. For those who in the north, I just passed that thing too on the way two thousand two state Great championship. Well. That's your school. That's your yeah, you damn right. Well, we brought the first state championship to Norland. How about that? Well, bad me. Yeah, they did. They nah, did. in football, yeah. dog. Football, football, they did. Edgewater, Cedric yeah. Baxter School. We beat them in the bomb burner. But yeah, anyway. They did. Went by the man. I was man. They built a brand new school, but anyway, but, um, man, I'm going in the front thinking that's the practice field, <laughs> that's, totally the, that's the front of the school. But anyhow, um, you know, when it comes to that kind of stuff, you set those expectations for parents, and they understand what it is. Now, yeah, everybody gonna want their kid to play, but it, like I said about Coach Jack, for all of them, I got favoritism for those who ball. Right. If you ball, dog, trust me, they going You can't deny a kid who gonna ball. You know what I mean? Especially a college business, bro. I guarantee there's some college coaches that hate that particular kid, but he's going to put him on the field because he's a ball player. Right. Ooh, we That's had a problem ball. with that last, last year. What you mean? Putting the ball on the field? We had a problem with that for some years. <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know if you're a football coach. We had some players on the field who didn't ball. You <laughs> seen them, they work, they work out monsters. Yeah, they work out monsters. 
Yeah. Like, you know, Coach, Coach Mario Carter, man, he worked out my sleep. We you know they kept saying, why is he starting with me? You Who's know, that? They trust him. Coach trust him. Oh, Mario Carter. Oh, Mario Carter. He, he, he outworked everybody on the team. So, yeah, I'm going to put him on the field. Yeah. So, he, I'm going to say this to you, uh, uh, X, because I got to think from a coaching perspective to a player's perspective. We as fans, and I'm going to conclude myself in this, we have a tendency to say Manny Diaz's biggest default, I mean, biggest problem was what? He didn't what? Play the ball. He didn't develop the players. Right there. So how are we going to blame Mario? How are we going to blame the players for not balling if they ain't been developed? I say that all the time, just like when it came to Zach McLeod and they moved him, right? And I, this is my bias towards players because here's what I believe, even being an educator, everybody can learn. You got to find a way to teach him. I don't care if I got to put two Lance Ball peanuts here so he don't understand this too. You dig what I'm saying? Or do I just say one plus one and he pick it up? You got to find a way. That's what you, your coach is saying. It's synonymous with teacher. You got to find a way to get that dude to play. There's a reason he is in Coral Gable. There's a reason he's on Green Tree Field. If you go to this high school tape, he balling. How, why are we not getting the bet? Now, some guys just don't work out. That, that's part of the, the you know, law averages. But at the end of the day, you got to squeeze every ounce of juice out of that turnip you can. And what I don't like here especially, and Drummond know this, John know this too, Coach. Don't, listen, don't tell me he too dumb to learn. You too dumb to coach. You too dumb to coach. Figure it out. I don't care. Listen, I tell this story all the time. We had a kid at New Orleans, ball player. He only played with a white face mask. Our face mask was black. He couldn't <laughs> focus. No, listen, y'all laughing, but it's the truth. Am I going to say he's too dumb to learn? You know what I did? I took out $4 out of my thing. That back when they had the auto store right here. Oh, yeah. Go give me a black can of spray paint. I mean, a white can of spray paint. Spray the inside of his face mask white. And let's get it. The black throw them off? The black throw them off. <laughs> You'd be surprised what throw people. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so you got to find a way to make a field go from this wide to this why, and that's being a coach, that's being a per, that's being a teacher, that's being a parent, that's being whatever. You got to find a way to skin this cat and get the best out of this dude because there's a reason he's there. Right. And so I, I just, I know I'm going on a rant, but I hear that all the time. I'm not saying there are bad players. There's some bad players. Yeah. But all of them can't be bad. No, all can't all be bad. Can't 105 bad. of them can't be bad. No, all eight no Western players can't be bad. Because here go the funny oh. thing. All eight, right, here go the funny thing. <laughs> These are the same dudes that's on the field right now that we going we going tomorrow. We finna be hip hip hooray for you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's my thing. All right. Got anything for you like that? Nah, he broke it down. Like he basically just broke it down. Why we were so bad for a couple years? No, no you heard that all the time. Blame Gucci. Yeah, that's true. You hear it all the time. He they came on play. At the same time, some, some, them, like some of them players didn't deserve to be out there. Like who? Come out people. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> man, it was one so game. We can talk about Zach all day. It was one game, man. Zach balled out last year. So Zach, 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 Zach led the country. Let the team yeah, Zach had a penny. Zach had a penny. Yeah, five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. Zach balled out last year, man. So, what would be the problem with Huff? Huff been there about 20 years, ain't he? I don't know if he just, I don't know if he, I don't know. Been you, you, but you know what I'm going to say, too? I'm going to say this, too. He got all the time. Some people are falling out of love with this game. I have to tell you this. Here's the deal, and I'm going to say this. I know you, you're rushing the time. but no, you good. You good. Light-skinned nigga. How much time you want? <laughs> hey. Ever since Wesley went to jail, you was tripping. Ever since Wesley started with the jail, hey, I'll be sure bringing us back. He got a new album out. Listen. No, nah, but don't. <laughs> Who you at, Christopher William? <laughs> now, nah, but but listen, but on the real though, how how I look at it, how, how I look at it is mm -hmm. when I look at uh, particular players and falling out of love with it, right? And I blame high school coaches for this. You don't set up the guys to understand what it is. You let guys miss practice. You let dudes do what they want to do because he's so good. You scared he's gonna transfer. Right. Now when he go to college, it's business. I tell people all the time, you know my motto, if they say family, I'm out. <laughs> because let's, be, let, let's call a spade a spade. Let's just call a spade a spade. I'm not knocking anybody, but this happens on every campus, on every in, in every college town. When a dude get in trouble or stuff happen, I'm gonna protect my interests about my family. Right. Right? 
Mm-hmm. It's just business. You employee number 9, 15, 17, 72, whatever your number is. Right. That's the business of it. If we defo- if we form a relationship in this process, like Lance did with Mario Cristobal, right. then that's different. But to tell me we're going to walk in, and I'm just calling a spade a spade, and I don't want to speak early on this, but how quick people are to dismiss Troutman before anything is really out, how people were so quick to dismiss Avante Williams. Mm-hmm. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah because people want to distance themselves because it's business, and we yeah, can't lose that track of it. That situation is a little more intimate because of the, you know, it's, it's a woman involved. So, off rip, they just, hey, man. <laughs> I agree. I mean, I'm just being real. Like, it's, no, 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 but I agree. Nobody, with nobody said and waited till the real story came out. I was like, man, he hit the woman. Get him off the team, man. No, I agree with you, but I'm just saying, when we tell that story, when you sit in them living rooms and say, I'm going to take care of your child. Right. I'm going to take care of this. Man, you, you do don't look, have to worry. You do look like Miss Kelly, like that, no. her son was ready to go 4,000 miles cross country. Right. She can't get in the car and say, I'm going to beat up, baby. I'll be there in a few minutes like she can now. Right. You hoping Mario Cristobal and his staff take care of your child. And dun 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 dun, dun he on the news. And you like, what's going on? It's business. And we got to instill that in our kids. It is. It's that, big time that, business. That, it, it, it's, it's big time business. Social yeah. media and so forth. But anyway, now you're going to Yeah, because you don't deal with your family like that. That ain't how you handle your family. I can tell you right you now. Take home, you don't take home. Hey, man, parent, turn their back. I've seen many. I've been in many courtrooms with players, and their mama sit right there to the end. Uh-huh. No matter what they did. Regardless of what they did. Now, they may not approve of us, but they're going right. to sit there and support us. But that's that's my two cents. What are you suspending um, indefinitely, right? What, trap man? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice indefinitely. I mean, even, even, I don't think he was going to be on the team for too much. Oh, shit. All right, on that note, listen, man, y'all make sure y'all like, follow, share, man. We got Coach Hayes in this thing, man. We're going to get up out of here, man. Holler. That's the first time you ever really kind of saw me perform. How did I do it? Yeah? I might get what? All right. Damn, <laughs> really? <laughs> listen, man, um, we may be coming to a city near you, man. That, that jump up went real well. Uh, we're gonna start trying to put the show on the road, come to City of you, and we got a game we're gonna start playing, man. We're gonna, we're gonna go around trying to crown, trying to crown the biggest Kane fan. <laughs> The biggest Kane fan. We got a game we're going to play, man. So we may be coming to your, to your city, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. IOD Squad, Investor Dive, man. We're going to take three motherfucking days, and that's what?